let us discuss this concept series of function. So we have already seen sequence of functions of real valued functions in our previous video. So with the help of that concept, we introduce this concept series of functions. In case of real numbers, we have already seen this concept sequence and series. So we have the same relation between sequence of functions and series of function. That means if you have a sequence of function fn, that means we have a sequence of all these functions f1, f2, f3 and so on, fn and so on. So with the help of that, we introduce series. Simply we take sum of all these functions. You can easily see here. If you have this sequence fn, then we add f1, f2, f3 and so on, fn and so on. So we get a series so that we call it as a series of function. We denote it in this way, summation fn and running from 1 to infinity. I have given very simple examples here so you can easily understand what is a series of function. So sin nx upon n square. Okay, so the, actually this is a definition of sequence of function. But if you take their sum, we get a series of function. So uh, let us see when we say the series of function is convergent, when we say it is divergent. Okay, but before that, I suggest you to make a screenshot of it. Okay. So consider fn be a sequence of function and sn be a sequence of its partial sum. That means sn is nothing but sum of first n functions. That means definition of sn will be like this f1 plus f2 plus and so on fn. Okay. Or in particular, we can say s1 is nothing but f1. Okay. I will write here so you can easily understand s1 is nothing but f1 s2 is equal to f1 plus f2, s3 is equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3. So therefore, we can write sn is equal to this one, right? So if this sequence of partial sum sn, okay, if sn is convergent and converges to f, then we say our series summation n running from 1 to infinity fn, that is also convergent and converges to the same function f. If this convergence is uniform that means sn be a sequence of function okay it is sequence of partial sum and it converges to f uniformly then our series also convergent and converges to f uniformly okay so again with the help of sequence of function that means we call it as a sequence of partial sum we find the convergence of series of function okay so this is a very important thing i will like to repeat this one if sequence of partial sum converges to f, then our series also converges to f. If it converges uniformly to f, then our series also converges uniformly to f. Okay, so this is a very important thing. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.